Hey Mustangs, welcome to this Thursday edition of the Daily Update. I'm Peter Warner. Let's get to the news. A North Texas woman is headed to prison for her part in the Capitol riot back in January. That story tops today's Mustang Minute. A North Texas real estate broker is headed to prison after she participated in the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. Jennifer Jenna Ryan, who flew to Washington, D.C., and live-streamed her part in the events, was sentenced to 60 days in prison. In a plea bar bargain, the 51-year-old pleaded guilty to one of the four counts against her, a charge of parading, demonstrating, or picketing in the Capitol building. She will also have to pay a $1,000 fine. She had faced a maximum penalty of six months in prison. The Supreme Court is looking into New York's gun law that restricts people from carrying concealed handguns outside of their homes for self-defense. New York officials are trying to limit the number of firearms in public places. Currently, New York will let people carry a concealed gun in some places for self-defense, but to get a permit, you must prove you have a special need for it. The case stems from two men in upstate New York who didn't get a permit and they claimed it was unconstitutional. The justices decided a significant Second Amendment case in 2008 and their actions in this case, if any, could affect other regulations on guns nationwide. The teenager charged in the deadly Parkland, Florida shooting finds himself back in court. Nicholas Cruz appeared in court for a motion hearing. Both sides addressed whether the defendant can get a fair sentencing trial and the constitutionality of the death penalty. Cruz pleaded guilty to 17 counts of murder and 17 counts of attempted murder, murder at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School back in 2018. Jury selection for the sentencing phase begins January 4th of next year. More trouble for Southwest Airlines. This time, it's with two employees. A Southwest pilot is accused of assaulting a flight attendant in San Jose late last month. Police say the dispute was over wearing masks and it happened at a hotel bar on October 18th while the crew members were off duty. The pilot has been placed on leave as the investigation into the incident continues. And that's your Mustang Minute. Mock trial has so much to offer uh, just anyone in the community, whether you wanna be able to speak well in front of people, think on your feet, a little acting here and there. There's really a little bit of everything for anyone. We joke that we are Division I nerds. No offense to all the athletes out there, but we say that we have almost as much practice as the athletes. But it's actually pretty enjoyable and we have a lot of fun doing it. It's not all hard. All the time you spend, you're getting better at being able to put together arguments, you're getting better at presenting yourself. There's so many skills that you work on while working on mock trial. Even if you're not a pre-law student, there's definitely a place for you there. Um, and it's still a really fun experience. It's definitely more than just how to be a lawyer, it's also just how to think critically. The most important lesson is it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You could say the most intelligent thing, but if you don't say it with confidence or in just the right way, no one's gonna listen to you. Join SMU Mock Trial today. Hey Mustangs, Peter Warner here bringing you your five day forecast. This cold weather has been a nice change, but that great fall weather is coming back early next week. The high today is 58 degrees with partly cloudy skies. It will get chilly tonight with a low of 40. The weekend brings us clear skies and that beautiful fall weather. Friday has a high in the mid 60s with temps getting to the low 40s at night. Saturday sits at exactly 70 for the high. Sunday, we reach the mid 70s with the low finally climbing out of the 40s at 54 degrees. Monday brings us a high of 76 with a low of 58 to start the school week with some great weather. That's your five day forecast Mustangs for SMU TV. I'm Peter Warner. a great outlet as a student um, because sometimes you can feel that as a student you have no power on campus um, so organizations are an outlet for you to be funded and your projects can be funded your ideas can be heard amongst people who understand them I joined this club because 
I thought it'd be a good way to bring these issues to people who, like me who weren't raised around these issues as, as a child. Intro to what? Micro. Intro to micro. And I'll email um, them. Let's work through the... Not about that. <laughs> <laughs> to help the SMU student population understand that these current issues going on are critical and affect so many lives, but furthermore, to bring action on these issues, you know, not just to talk about them, but to be about it. To learn more, visit facebook.com slash SMU Amnesty. A couple in New Zealand have found what could be the world's largest potato. Donna and Colin Craig Brown were weeding their garden when they came upon the ginormous spud. When they dug it up, it weighed 17.4 pounds. The couple decided to call it Doug because, of course, they dug it up. From the looks of how big this potato is, they could make mashed potatoes for an entire college football team like the Mustangs. The Browns are waiting to see if their new and very large addition to their family will make it into the Guinness Book of World Records. The current record for the largest potato in the world is 10 pounds. I can't even imagine how many orders of fries you can make with that one potato. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you Mustangs. Remember, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash SMU television and follow us on Twitter at SMU TV. If you have any story ideas, shoot us an email at SMU TV at SMU.edu. Thanks for watching this Thursday edition of the Daily Update. Tune in next week for more news from the Hilltop and until then, have a great day and pony up. SMU TV and the Division of Journalism want to thank our underwriters, North Park Center in Dallas, Javier's Gourmet Mexicano on Cole Avenue, and Advance ER off West Lovers Lane. We appreciate your support of student media.